So uh, thanks for joining us. I'm here in uh, lovely sunny London uh, with Charles. Uh, we've got an interest in uh, Gears announcement today. Charles, can you introduce yourself? To yeah, sure. So um, I'm Charles Wiles. I'm a product manager in the mobile team in London, and I'm responsible for our mobile web apps. Cool. So um, today we're talking about Google Gears for mobile. What is that? Well, Google Gears for mobile is our way to enhance the capabilities of the mobile web browser. Um, what we really want to do is we want to make it possible for mobile application developers to write applications in the browser that are as capable and rich and fluid as applications that are written natively, you know, C++ or Java. Um, and to do this, you know, we've created this plugin that allows you to do lots of interesting things. So what makes you think that uh, building on the web is a good way and the way that developers will want to build these uh, applications for the mobile phone? Yeah, well, about a year ago we were you know, thinking very hard about what our, um, our strategy should be on, on mobile for application development. And you know, we were having a lot of pain. Every time we wanted to port our application to a new device, we'd have to go to a new operating system. You know, it, it was an absolute nightmare. And what we recognized was that the same thing was happening on mobile as happened on desktop, which was that the browser was taken off as the way that people develop their, their web applications. And we realized actually it was going to happen at an accelerated pace, and that very quickly the browser would be the preferred way that people actually did their development. Of course, you know, what we realized was that from the browser you don't have the same capabilities as you do if you write a native application. Um, you, you don't have access to things like your contact, your address book. You don't have access to things like your GPS location. You don't have access to things like your, your messaging. And these are really important things that you want if you're going to develop really great mobile applications. Okay, so uh, what are you actually uh, releasing today? So today we're launching uh, Google Gears for mobile for Windows Mobile. Um, it's exactly the same as version 0.2 of the Google Desktop Gears, so exactly the same APIs you can use in exactly the same way. And what that basically allows you to do is write an application that continues to work even when the phone is disconnected from the network. And of course, that's pretty uh, important in, you know, in the mobile space. It can be more important than on the desktop because you're often going in and out of coverage. You're often losing connection. And even when you are connected, the innate network latencies mean that applications can be quite slow when written in the browser. But with Google Gears for mobile, you can do some very smart caching, and you can store data and fetch data you know, ahead of time. You can also store that data between sessions, so that you know, if you download some photos onto your device, um, one day and you come back to it the next day, you don't have to refetch those photos, they're still there, stored there. So uh, we're releasing a Windows mobile version now. Uh, why Windows mobile first? Yeah, well, clearly we want to make this available across all the platforms that we can. Um, and we're working with a lot of our partners to make this possible. So, but we chose Windows Mobile first because actually Windows Mobile has the most open and easy to use uh, browser out there. The plugin framework on Pocket IE is actually quite good. So we've been able to very quickly implement Google Gears for Windows Mobile. Um, and, you know, that, it really is quite a nice experience. Okay. So I've also noticed coming out of this office a bunch of uh, iPhone applications. Um, what are you guys doing there and why are you targeting the iPhone? Well, that's, that's another great question. What, again, when we were doing our browser strategy a year ago, you know, we, we decided to pick on the browser. We had this belief that mobile browsers would become as capable as desktop browsers. And really, the iPhone is the first mobile phone that has actually done that. The Safari browser on the iPhone is, a, is essentially the same browser as on, on the desktop on Macs. And that means it's just a fantastic development environment for writing Ajax applications. And you can see that by the fantastic number of web apps that have been created for the iPhone. We certainly hit a tipping point in the iPhone where you can go in and you can do some really, really uh, fast and fluid UIs. And you see that in, for example, Google's own custom UI uh, for the iPhone. Great. So, um, you know, with mobile gears, you're kind of giving these native abilities to uh, people using writing applications on the web. Um, how does that differ from, say, giving people a widget platform where they can kind of build widgets and then have that just run on the phone? So widget platforms uh, were, were a great way to achieve some of what we're, what we're doing today before the browsers became so capable, before the idea of having just to have the browser with these extra capabilities. 
but you know, our view is, uh, and again, come back to the iPhone, that the, the way they've done the web apps there just is a very clever uh, you know, way to, to add these things to your, to your homepage without having to go to the widget framework largely makes widget frameworks obsolete. I mean, and certainly what we didn't want to do is create a whole new kind of widget framework with a whole load of new rules and um, uh, you know, things that you have to do differently just because you're in a widget framework. We just wanted, use, we wanted developers to just write standard AJAX applications in the browser just like they used to on the desktop and have those work on mobile phones. Right. And uh, again, right now it supports the 0.2 release, so everything API is exactly the same. In fact, it's not even a fork of Gears, it's the real Gears. Yeah, the, the, the guys have done a fantastic job developing this, I and mean, they've, they've got, you know, the, the code is actually the same code base. Um, you know, they really minimize the differences that they've had to do for, for, for mobile. That means that everything you run on the desktop is, is exactly the same as what you run on, on mobile, where it can be. I'm really, as a web developer, I'm really excited. I've had to like mess around in the past with Brew and all these different things on all the platforms, and the the, the idea that in the future we'll have this kind of kind of similar to the browser-based web, where these AJAX apps are kind of taking over the universe, and I can just write it once, and it works across these different uh, phones. is pretty exciting. So uh, thanks for taking the time, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you very much, Bill.